on this most powerful day. We bring you greetings from the realms of light. What you are calling a super moon is indeed a most powerful time. When the sun and the moon are in perfect balance between two of the most powerful signs of the zodiac, Taurus, the strength of a mountain, the connection to Mother Earth, and Scorpio, which is the volcano, the mountain erupting, bringing forth new life, but also releasing that which no longer serves. So let us now guide you on a journey so that you may use these energies of the full moon to bring about powerful shifting of energy for your personal life, but also for the planet. So we travel today to the beautiful islands of Hawaii. We travel to the big island. Where the volcano is very active. Where new land is being created. New life is being brought forth from the fire. So, we invite you now to imagine that you are walking up the slopes of the great volcano on the big island of Hawaii. As you climb higher and higher on a path that spirals around the volcano, you can see out across the green forests, the green fields, to the sparkling ocean that surrounds the island. As you climb higher, the air becomes clear and fresh, much cooler as you climb to higher and higher elevations. You come to the very top of the volcano. You sit down and you just watch. Facing towards the west, you see the great disk of the sun as it drops down towards the ocean. As the great 
orb descends towards the water. It is turning orange and red. It casts a glow on the surface of the ocean. A beautiful orange glow is reflecting off the surface of the water. And the sky above is turning all the colors of the sunset, the gold, the orange, ruby red, amethyst, turquoise, rose pink. And as you watch, the sun disappears into the ocean. And you feel the glow in your heart as you receive the very last rays of the sun, taking them, holding them in your heart through the night until the dawn. So feel those beautiful, warm, rich, golden rays filling your heart. Feeling that warmth, the blessing and the gift of the setting sun. You stand up and you walk around to the other side of the volcano where the great disk of the moon is rising in the east. And as the moon rises and catches the glow from the setting sun, it rises as a soft pink disk. You open yourself to receive. Simply emptying yourself, becoming the empty vessel, being filled with the soft pink light of this beautiful moon as she rises. You take the soft pink light into your heart to merge with the light of the sun. So your heart is filled with the complementary energies of the sun and the moon, the divine masculine and the Divine Feminine. You just breathe in and you merge, you allow the two energies, the sun and the moon 
to merge with one another in your heart, which is now completely filled with the soft pink light of the moon. and the rich gold of the sun breathing into the heart, breathing the two energies together, sun and moon in perfect balance and harmony. There is no conflict here. There is an opportunity to restore the balance. Allowing the softness of the moon, of the goddess, the divine feminine, to be completely harmonized with the energies of the gold, the masculine, the sun, the warrior. Perfect balance and harmony as it was meant to be. Both are necessary. Both have their place. Not in competition, but as complements. Sacred union of the divine masculine and the divine feminine within. So as you breathe into the heart, finding that place of peace, love, harmony and balance. Feeling that energy expanding out from your heart to fill your whole body. Allowing both the softness of the feminine and the strength of the masculine. Both are necessary. So just imagine, feel yourself standing on the top of the volcano, completely at peace, balanced, harmonious. As you stand, on the edge of the crater, on the top, of the volcano. There is a sound that appears to come from deep within the volcano. It is a sound of rumbling and 
roaring. As you watch, the crater opens up. And as you look down into the volcano, you can see the liquid fire. It is so beautiful. All of the colors flowing together. like watching a beautiful ballet as the colors dance and swirl liquid fire. You understand that you have been brought to this volcano as a gift. to use the fires at this time when the portal is open for the full moon. The fire is inviting you to come in. So you simply step off the rim of the crater and you find yourself floating very easily and very gently going deep, deep, deep into the volcano. Going down deeper and deeper. You can feel the energy, the power of that liquid fire. But it does, does not burn. It is not hot. It simply transforms. So as you float down, you simply find yourself being immersed in those beautiful liquid flames. Allow yourself to become one with the fire, with the lava. Take the fire into your body. and invite the flames to burn away, to transmute. All of the old programs, the old memories, of pain, of suffering, trauma from the past. Those memories that are holding you in suffering time to let them go.
So just feel those beautiful dancing flames, all colors, pink and gold and white and blue and green. As the flames dance through your whole body, You are being washed clean. All of those programs that say, I'm not good enough. I'm not safe. The world is not a safe place. I have no power over my own life. I don't deserve to be happy. All of these old beliefs that are no longer valid. Simply release them to this cleansing flame. And as the fire flows through all of your bodies, physical, emotional, mental, soul body. All of those old programs are being washed away. Here, in the fire, you are being transformed, reborn. As those negative self-beliefs are washed away. You are ready to give birth to yourself in all of your glory. as the powerful creator being that you are. Giving birth to the light within as you absorb the flame, you are giving birth to all of your creativity, to your powers as a divine human, the power of creation is yours. So take that power into your body and feel yourself rising up like a phoenix 
a firebird. You are rising up from the fires of transformation and floating up this opening in the volcano, this portal. And as you fly higher and higher, you find that you have wings and you can fly. You come to the top of the opening and you come to land on the rim, the crater of the volcano. But now you stand as the shining one, the radiant one. The light is shining from your body. Now you know that you can create in your life whatever you choose. So let us use these powers that are now available to you to simply focus your intention. What do you wish to create in your life? For yourself, for your family, for the earth? Whatever you choose. Now you absolutely know that you are your own divine director. You are the one who is creating your own reality. So choose carefully how you would like that reality to be. Simply set your intention and it shall be done. As you stand on the top of the volca volcano, radiating beautiful rainbow colors, you know that you can do anything as the divine human that you are. So you simply lift yourself up 
from the volcano. And you fly around the planet, looking down at this beautiful earth that you have chosen as your home for this cycle. And you come to the place where your body is waiting in your home, wherever you are, you see the body. The body is the house that is waiting for your divine self to come home. So you float into the house where your body is waiting. And you come floating down, coming in through the crown, through the top of your head, the crown chakra. And you just float down into that body, which is now being filled with all of the light and all of the power of creation that you have just given birth to. So feel this body of radiant light merging with your physical form. So now your whole body is being infused with light. Every cell is being illuminated with your divine human self. Let us ask for the light codes in the DNA for you to embody. This divine self to be activated now. As you feel those two energies merging, the physical body and the divine human, ask this divine one to take charge of your life. to bring all of those powers of creation and to create a new reality where your soul is fulfilled, it's fulfilling its purpose 
and living in joy. Simply offer yourself as the vessel for your own divine self to fulfill the purpose that you came to do in the Great Awakening. As you feel the presence of your own divine self, does this one have a message for your personality self at this time? So now you know that you have your own divine director downloaded into your physical form. So whatever you need, you simply set the intention and it is done. So feel yourself coming back into the body. bringing with you that sense of well-being, of connection, creativity, and power as you slowly bring yourself back into this time, into this place knowing that all is well, the plan is perfect. 